Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today with heavy metal, and you can see in front of me, I have got my brand new Colt Peacemaker. And I can just about guarantee you, this is unlike anyone you have ever seen before. I had this one custom built. But, unlike the original that was chambered in 45 Colt, woo, look at how shiny that is. But unlike the original in 45 Colt, this one is in point one seven seven if I show you real close it has it etched right there and shows the pellet but man look at the finish on this thing I had this one custom built from pyramid air if you guys want to learn more about this thing go check out pyramid air but you can custom build these I handpicked everything on here from the gold hammer and trigger to the nickel seven and a half inch barrel and the nickel cylinder even down to the wood grips grips pretty cool too colt peacemaker but this is going to be my first time to the range i have never ever sent anything down range out of this thing it's almost so pretty you hate to use it but hey that's why i got it so here's what we're going to do today i'm going to get it on paper i'm going to show you to show you how to use it and we're just going to have a little bit of fun. And I even brought out some cool little steel targets. We're going to see if we can get here. But it should be a whole lot of fun. Colt Peacemaker Replica. Let me show you how to load it up. All right, so I'm going to do my best to try to show you everything that you need for this baby. So we got the Colt Peacemaker here itself right here on the side of the handle or the grip I guess you could call it there's a little thumb groove there and that will pop this open and inside there you'll see is where you put your CO2 cartridge the ones that I'm loading up here today are these right here pretty cool huh little 12 gram cartridges and check this out super super neat how they built this in see that little allen key right there what you're gonna do is the you're gonna turn this clockwise and I'm gonna do it here to show you this one has not been used yet you're just gonna keep tightening this and what you're doing is pushing this up in there to break the seal on this cartridge and you're gonna want to keep going until it sounds like it's broke in there and then sealed I'm gonna have to use two hands here hard to do it while you're filming then once you got that screw in there and tightened up and you got your gas loaded up there you gonna put your grip back on make sure you get it on there right and then let me switch to the other side here just like the original single action army which it says right here how cool is that single action you're going to half cock and open the gate and then you can push the ejector rod right here and it's going to push out that shell there and you can see i've already loaded this one up but you put your pellet or your bb right there your 177 and then you load it and then when you still got it on half cock you can rotate the cylinder you can see I've already loaded all these but then we are ready to go we're loaded up all the way around we got our air here in the grip let's see what we think about it first time taking this Colt Peacemaker out here to the range all right I think I failed to mention too I brought out two different types of projectiles here got these 177 steel BBs and then I've also brought out some of these flat nose pellets and we'll see what it likes but first right off the jump 
you guys saw I had the steel BBs in there. Got our air in there. Now at 10 yards, I've got some paper plates. Let's just see where our hold is. At 10 yards, take our time, try to do my best here. And see where we're at at 10 yards. Let me move y'all this way. You can see me a little better when I'm done. 10 yards, do my best here. Hey, it flung them. It works. For well, that first shot, I hit a little, maybe three inches high and two inches left. Let's just do the whole cylinder on that same plate there. Do my best with my hold here. Looks like it's pretty consistent there. That one hit a shade off the plate. Alright, so it looks like I had three real close and then I had a couple off the edge of the plate. Now, let me reload here. Half cock, and then we can push those out, out the gate there. Let me reload. All right, got six more loaded up with these BBs. I got four paper plates up there. We'll do the top two with the BBs and then the bottom two with the pellets, see what happens. But hey, so far, this is a whole lot of fun. It's literally just like the original Colt Action Army. But, hey, <laughs> we're uh, flinging these little BBs and pellets and not having to spend one or two dollars or more a pop for the long cold ammo. But, there's six more of these. Oop, I didn't load that last one there. Only loaded five BBs. Let me get this one out. There we go. It's not going to fling anything if we don't load it all the way. Now let's do six more of these here real quick. I think I'm getting a little bit better. I want to do more with the BBs, but just while we got these cameras rolling on these plates, I'm going to feed six of the pellets and we'll see how the pellets do. I'll show you those again. These are pellets, these next two cylinders with a flat nose on them. No idea how they're going to fly out of this thing. Like I said, this is my very first time to the range here, but we'll half cock it, load all these up with the pellets, and I'll be right back. All right, now I'll show you got the pellets in there I said I was showing you the pellets in there then that's the one I didn't load I will show you me loading it put the pellet in the back there see how the back ends kind of hollow in my head in theory these are gonna fly a little better than the babies but don't know till we try I'm fixing to find out also I've done what that's 12 shots on this same air cylinder I'm sure a bunch of people are gonna ask how many shots can you get well, I guess we're gonna find out apparently a lot of them do two cylinders of these pellets and see how these pellets fly. All right, sent those pretty fast. It looks like the the they're hitting left and up just like the babies were. So the second cylinder. I'm going to adjust my hold just a smidge to account for that, but me eyeballing it, I think the pellets are flying better, and they definitely make bigger holes in that paper down there. Let me load this up again, six more. All right, now, second group with those pellets in there. Let's do six of these. I'm going to hold a little bit low right. Oh, man. I sent that second one, not even me, into that trigger's lighter than you'd expect. Oh yeah. Now that I got the hole down, I'm putting them right in there. Is that other camera on there? Yeah. Now, you know what's always fun? Hitting some steel at the range. That's why I brought this thing up to this range. We got a bunch of steel from 10 yards all the way out to 55 yards. 
let's go out to 20 yards and get some steel. I'm gonna load up the pellets again. All right, give you a little bit different perspective this time. Now I got yellow steel at 20 yards. I've got the pellets loaded up in the peacemaker. Let's see how I can do it, 20 yards. We got the other camera on here. We'll go for the bigger silhouette first. Hey, right in the middle. And I'll say it again, I'm still on that first cartridge, which we did six, six times four, 24. That was number 25 out of the same cartridge. Hey, not bad for 20 yards, huh? Pretty, pretty sweet. I'm gonna load up six more pellets and go to a, a smaller piece of steel out there at 20 yards. Got it. That's a pretty good little group there for 20 yards. And that six cylinder is still on that same one gas cartridge oh, man let's go ahead and jump it out to 50 yards this time see what we can do still on that same cartridge let me load up six more pellets so you can load them like that without taking those cartridges out but if you got big fingers like me it might be a little bit harder it might be easier just to pull them out but now let me move this target camera up to 50 yards and see if we can get them at 50 yards still on that original cylinder i'm surprised how many uh, we're getting out of the cylinders. All right, now 50 yards. I got the other camera zoomed in on it. A little bit bigger target, but it's a lot further away. 20 yards, we didn't have any problems. Now, 50 yards, and we're still on that original cylinder. We'll really focus and try to get these all good here. 50 yards now. I think we went low. Hey, I heard a ding. I can't see from here where we hit it, but I heard a ding. I held the, sh the shoulder of it. Burn it again. Hey, five in a row at 50 yards guys i think that seals the deal putting the pellets in there at 50 yards no problem hitting that steel man i bet we could do it at 100. we're gonna have to take this thing to 100 yard range next time man man but let's try to do some speed stuff a little bit closer bring it back to 20. i don't know if we can do 50 fast maybe we'll see but let's load it up again do some more fast stuff then i want to do some hunting quick all right let's go back to 20 yards again i'm gonna go as fast as i can and try to stay on target at 20 yards you should be able to see our hits here on that steel i'm not gonna fan it because i'm afraid i'll miss at 20 yards but let's see what i can do as fast as i can after the first one i'll get to boogie not too shabby i don't think i missed and by the way that's got to be over 40 and we're still running on that original cartridge of air i'm super surprised at how many shots we're getting out of that thing but man we got to end this video with a little hunt over here we got looks like a ram a goose a hog and man that's gonna be pretty cheeky what is that a chicken let's uh see what we can do with it i'll set them all up and do like 10 paces or something all right load it up again still on that original air cartridge right here 10 paces or so give or take one we got those four critters now let's see if i can pop them six shots four critters i don't know i think it's going to be tough especially that smallest one but see if we can smoke them here get where y'all can see me here Just 
just left just beneath them. Man. Just above them. Alright. That first one might have been luck. I'm going to go ahead and get a new cartridge. That's got to be 50 or something. I'm going to blame my misses on the cartridge. I'm going to grab a new cartridge loaded up with pellets and be right back. Alright, there was actually plenty of air left in that, but I'm still going to use that as my excuse. Let's see if I can get them this try. Oh man, it's going so fast now I can't see where they're hitting. There we go. Oh, hit that one. It didn't fall over. There we go. We got anything left for that chicken? I think we're out of boot lots. Reload for the chicken. Just lift. Got him. With four to spare. Just do a little dump here. Sweet. There you have it, guys. How cool was that? Out here having a blast with my brand new Colt Peacemaker Single Action Army in the 177 caliber. I'm going to have to polish it up again. I think I said in the beginning I feel bad getting my grubby fingers all over this thing. It's so shiny. The finish on this is awesome. If y'all want to check this thing out or read more on it, go check out Pyramid Air. You can custom build these if you want, or they've even got some standard models you can pick up. Man, first time to the range with this thing. Absolutely awesome. Having a whole lot of fun out here. Bringing some steel. And even doing a little bit of hunting. Y'all know I like my hunting, but hey, appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Woo-hoo!